This is how you'll find several neighborhoods in Burundi's capital, Bujumbura. On an ordinary day, it will be a very busy time, but people have closed shop, their homes, and run. This security guard shows me the property he's been left to watch. He said he's afraid to be here, but has nowhere else to go. We are scared. Every other day you go out and see a body dumped in the street. Sometimes it's someone you know. At night we hear gunshots. The government says that some people in these areas have illegal arms which they are using to carry out systematic killings. Security forces have started an operation to disarm them. More than 200 people have been killed since April. That's when President Pierre Nkurunziza announced he was running for a controversial third term, which he won. And this is worrying the international community. Many human rights groups and the United Nations say what's happening in Burundi could get worse. Words like genocide have resurfaced. I put those concerns to the Foreign Affairs Minister. Every time you have to assess a situation, you need to remain reasonable. Because at times some of the, the assessment and, and this, you know, pronouncements and statements uh, that those people are making could even actually inflame the situation and get the opposite uh, of what they were intending um, to, to do. The United Nations Security Council has passed a resolution calling for unspecified measures against those seen to incite violence. The UN has also discussed the possibility of deploying troops should the situation worsen and is pushing for political dialogue. You know, when we talk, we talk about dialogue, I know some, of, some people out there would think that the dialogue is, uh, is something that, that is need to be done only uh, with the radical opposition, as we, we call them here. Oh, but we, we, we think that it has to be deeper, it has to be broader uh, and, and bring on board many people, uh, various stakeholders, whether they are in the country or outside the country. In many other parts of Bujumbura, life is going on as usual. Markets are busy, people are coming to work. But when you talk to them, they'll tell you that they're also worried about the security situation. Many here say they just want to get on with their lives in peace. They hope all the diplomatic efforts will help restore order. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Bujumbura.